Hello, this is the second part of the mod showcase part of the Inventory Pets mod. First off, we have the Wolf Pet, which summons and dismisses a wolf. It's already tamed and will follow you around. It also, this pet uses bones. Now, using Glowstone, the Banana Pet will throw, well, itself at, at an enemy. And if you can see here, it does 12 damage each time, doing pretty decent damage for a weapon. Next up, we have the Biome Pet. It basically is a nature's compass, which is a mod I will be explaining later, but instead it uses an iron ingot. Next, we have the Flying Saddle Pet, which allows you to ride any mob and fly with it at the cost of a diamond nugget. As you can see here, we're using a pig, and it allows us to fly. Now we have the grave pet. Using bones, it allows you to restore your inventory after death. I'm not going to be demonstrating that. Now the loot pet. Using gold nuggets, it drops. It allows you to get all drops from mobs and ores to be doubled. This will only be doubled, and it doesn't work with fortune, although. Now, the meta pet. This is crafted with four of any pet, and, and does not use any item. What it does is it transforms into a random infantry pet. In this case, the chest pet. Next, you have Mickerson. Uses diamond nuggets. Now, Mickerson gives you resistance to and the meaning of life, which is completely censored out. Now, we have the Pinga Pet. It uses diamond nuggets and it finds and auto extracts the nearest ore. When it means find, when you right click, it allows you to get to different ores and ore dictionary. Basically, any modded ore. So, if you see here, it grabs, it grabs them without breaking them gives the actual ore itself. Next we have one of the most well-known pets, the Purplicious Cow Pet. It gives regeneration and it autofills buckets. The Quantum Crystal Pet summons in minions if you're in any mode that isn't peaceful for Lapis Ingots. Now we have the Quiver Pet it gives infinite arrows if you have at least one in your inventory. See? It also allows you to insta-shoot for 30 seconds with a right click. This uses feathers to use the pet. Next we have one of the, another one of the most well-known pets, which is the sponge pet. It allows you to take a whole load of water in one single in one single click. This uses lily pads and allows you to also place back the water but it does make it like a cursed almost image having water that doesn't flow. Next we have the dubstep pet. This does a sound blast using a note block. As you can see here using a test subject it bounces everything and shoots it off. Oh. Well, don't use it near any passive mobs or teamed mobs, I guess. Anyway, next we have the Heart Pet. This gives regeneration 3 whenever right clicked and only requires poppies, one of the more overpowered pets of the group. Next we have the Moon Pet. The Moon Pet reverses gravity in, a, in an area using emerald nuggets whenever right clicked. This works with any entity, meaning any dropped item or any mob around you. It will slowly rise up and after a few seconds it will eventually fall down. If you throw any item while this effect is active, it will just throw above your head. Next we have the shield pet. 
The shield pack gives you resistance whenever right clicked, but it does have a cooldown for quite a bit. This uses iron nuggets. Next we have the Illuminati pet, which gives you one random item every time you click. This can be any random item from any mod you have in your mod pack. So it's pretty overpowered, but it has a cooldown and requires emerald nuggets. Next we have the Juggernaut pet. It makes you invulnerable for a minute whenever right clicked and weakens enemies around you. This uses obsidian nuggets and makes you immune to every form of damage in the game. It can affect your armor though, so your armor might take a little damage. This is going to be annoying. Now we have the Siamese pet. This gives you a random item and scares away zombies at the cost of cooked chicken. Next we have the dirt pet, which turns cobble to dirt and gives you a whole lot of buffs. Next we have the opposite, the cobblestone pet, which gives you horrible effects and turns dirt to cobblestone. Next we have the holiday pets. These can only be obtained during the holiday and can only work in, fort in December 14 to 25. But the April Fool's pet, when another holiday pet, can actually be used at any time, using tripwire hooks and gives you a random effect, almost like a lucky block. Next we have the Black Hole Pet, which uses obsidian nuggets to slow down time and attract items towards you. So if I hit a cow, it won't move that much, almost as if the game is glitching. And items almost go towards you like you're in magnet mode which is part of not enough items. Next up we have the cloud pet. It, using nether, nether quartz it allows you to fly. It allows you to fly just extremely fast. If you already can fly it makes you much faster. And it makes you fly as fast as the infinity armor. The pufferfish pet poisons poisons all attacks using glowstone and when right clicked it does a poisonous attack around you next we have the slime pet this uses golden apples to save you from a certain death so if you fall from a high place you'll live next we have the sun pet which prevents any mobs from spawning in a radius and makes all mobs around you start to float around and burn using gold nuggets. And the final pet is the Wither Pet. Using Soul Sand, it makes all damage heal you and makes you immune to the Wither effect. It also shoots with their skulls at opponents. So if I drink this potion of Wither, nothing happens. And if I right click that cow over there, it shoots with her, with her skulls. This does 8 damage and knocks them into the sky. And so that's it. That's the entirety of the inventory pet I've gone through. Bye!